In this video, we're going to go over the Market Center's view of DocuSign and how to take the state forms that are uploaded to DocuSign and break it out into what we call packets, which is another term for folders of what do you need so I can look at all of the state contracts and break it out by listings, buyer, specific ones, commercial, leases, whatever you need. So it's basically creating folders that will help the agents narrow down to the forms you recommend that they use so that you can help them uh, do this faster inside of DocuSign. So I'm here inside of DocuSign and it takes you to what we call rooms. And we're gonna come to the upper right hand corner. Now you need to log in with your KLRW and then your market center number at kw.com email address because that's where you'll have this master tool of an admin tool. So if you log in with your normal account, it will not have this option. So I'm here at the KLRW for Fort Lauderdale Northeast and I'm gonna go to admin. This is gonna take you to a little backend dashboard with members and then it's gonna have forms. This is where you're gonna see if the state forms were uploaded here it should start with all folders. They will start coming in. So I see I've got my contract forms coming in from some of my other boards here. And our goal is to create what you see here, what we call packets. So buyer packet, listing packet, these may already be here for you and you can just click on them and add a document. So in the buyer packet, we have 25 contracts commonly used in addendums that they would need for working with a buyer. So I can come over here to the right and I can manage the forms and decide which ones I want. So I can choose which board and group is it coming from. So let's say it's from the Florida Association of Realtors. This will access every form that they have. And if it's already in the folder, it'll have a check next to it. So let's say I'm going through here and I forgot one. I can add it by just clicking a box and saving it. So I'm not gonna add that one, I'm just gonna hit cancel. So that's how you would edit an existing packet if it's in here. So I'm gonna say add group to create a new packet. You're gonna give it a name, so how about, just for this example, I'm gonna say listing packet two to show you that we can do this. It's gonna ask you to choose your office name. So it had a little pop up here and there is the market center. And I'm going to add it. And now I will have listing packet two added to my list. So I'm going to switch this to groups only. I've got listing packet there and here is listing packet two. So I can come here and add forms. So I'm going to select the state again and then I'm going to find those forms that I need. So I can look for a um, exclusive right to list if that's what I was looking for. So this is for leases, exclusive buyer brokerage agreement. And let's just say it's one of these that I want to add. So I can check those three boxes. You can add any of the forms you think they might use commonly. And when I hit save, they will then be available to use and available to the agents, which is great. So it's your ability to break this down and packet it in different folders so that they can find it. And in the event you need to, you can also revoke access or just delete any of these. So I'm gonna delete that one since this was a test. So you'll see here, we've already done this in my market center. We've created a buyer packet and put all the forms you would need for buyers. So making sure there's copies of the different disclosures, there's the as is contracts and everything we need in Florida. We have some stuff for commercial in here in case they need anything from the state for commercial purposes. Landlord packets, if I am the listing agent on a lease. The listing packet, if I'm working with the sellers, right, for listings. Tenant packet, and then we had one for land contracts. So these are just the common ones we have currently. It's your ability to come in and add those. So that's how you take apart your big state forms and everything once they're imported in with DocuSign. And this is how you group it together into what we call a packet. That's how you're going to customize it here for the market center. And then I'm gonna cut over and show you what the agent will see once they've done this so that you have a better understanding of how it'll appear to the agent. Okay, I'm over on the agent side and I'm here in documents and I'm going to go access those new packets that you just created. So I'm gonna to go to the transaction, which will take me to DocuSign. I'll log in with my agent account. Okay, update that. This is gonna take you into a room. So it took me into a room. Now I already have documents in here. However, what can happen now is the agent's gonna to come to add and DocuSign forms. 
when they choose group, you're going to see all those groups you created. So here are my buyer packets, my listing packet. So remember, I had all those listing packets of just the forms that I needed. So they're just the ones I needed. And again, because I've already selected these, it tells me it's already been selected as the agent. However, it would have everything I need here. And if I ever needed all of the state forms because we forgot something, they still have the ability to come in here. Yet you can imagine going through and trying to find the contracts I need can be a bit cumbersome if I have everything in the system from the state. So this is a great way for them to have a group and then you could create these. So let's say it was the buyer packet. I could come in here and here are just the forms I would need if I'm working with the buyer. Then you'd have your ones for leases and seller. So that's what the agent's going to see. And the market center is going to do that under the KLRW account in DocuSign and create the packets. So that way I can narrow it out and find what I'm looking for. So that's how you create that. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you, and as always, follow me on KB Connect or YouTube today.